More Americans say they are on track with their retirement savings this year than in 2023, according to a new BlackRock survey. Yet, that optimism is not shared across generations. Our senior personal finance correspondent, Sharon Everson, joins us now with more. Sharon. Good to be here. Well, you know, BlackRock asked employers and workers about retirement savings plans and the impact on their future. They found significant differences between generations. Gen Z in their 20s and mid-30s, the youngest in the workforce, they're pretty confident about retirement. In fact, 77 percent say they feel on track to retire with the lifestyle they want, the most of any generation, although 69 percent of them worry about outliving their savings. On the other hand, Gen Xers in their mid-40s and 50s are the most steady savers, with 80 percent of them saving a consistent amount for retirement, but they are also the least likely to feel on track. One reason may be that they've seen a lot of the market turmoil in their lifetimes, and they may not be as confident that their retirement savings is going to last. But overall, workers are feeling better about retirement savings than their employers. 68 percent of workers say they are on track, while just 58 percent of plan sponsors said the same thing. So BlackRock says employers and plan sponsors are more concerned about the impact of longevity on their employees and worried they may not have enough income for their retirement years, Melissa. So the poll is interesting in terms of how it was phrased, Sharon. This struck yes. me this morning on Squawk Box. See, feeling ready, because I feel like as you get older, you are more aware that you don't have enough. Exactly. <laughs> and so maybe they feel less ready exactly. because, in fact, they are less ready and you feel good because you don't really have any idea of all the costs involved when you're that's exactly right. And you've also had, you know, if you've just started working and you've had 10 years of working, you've had 10 years of market gains, you're thinking this is great, it's going to continue, and it's not. And they're not thinking about having to take care of older parents or having adult children that they're still paying for as well. There's so many different things that are weighing on them. People don't realize, and Sharon, is, she's royalty, too. I mean, yes, on what's the, on the that mountain? Mount Everest. <laughs> Mount Everest, right? With the faces? She's one of them, without Rushmore question. Or Rushmore or Everest? Rushmore Everest. <laughs> I mean, you climb them both. It's a new thing. Mount Everest. Everest. You it's talked fine. about today, you brought up, I didn't realize, what's the max you can put into retirement? It's up to $30,400. $30,500. So that's one thing that BlackRock finds in their survey. A lot of people who are 50 and older don't realize that you can make a catch up contribution to your retirement savings, to your 401k and your IRA. And with your 401k, if you do that $7,500 catch-up contribution this year, you can put in up to $30,500 into your 401k. An extra $1,000 into an IRA brings up to $8,000. People don't realize.